I figured I'd make a quick video. I haven't made one in what seems to be almost a year. Still have the Alienware. Um, I still have the plastic on it, as you can see. I'll be honest, I haven't really played it much. It's literally, since my last couple videos, I've, I really haven't used it, unfortunately. Um, part of that is because um, three kids, you know, that's, that, 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 that's quite a bit of time consuming right there. We ended up moving from the apartment into this house, so now I'm in, I'm in, uh, I'm in the basement, and I kind of have my little game set up here. Um, I still have the Dell G3. That, surprisingly, since the third hinge has been put on, uh, the hinge has worked. My son does play it, not on a regular basis, but he, he tends to play it maybe once or twice a month. Um, he actually just started playing it again last night, but, I mean, it, it's held up pretty decently, and he's played it way more than I've played on this. Um, what I have been actually doing with this more so has been using it to um, download ROMs and whatnot, and then I've been kind of emulating, getting emulators for my cell phone and putting them on that. Um, I ended up starting to play a little bit more, more so with Steam Link. It just was easier to run Steam Link on here or on my phone and then stream games from here right to my phone and then use an Xbox controller. Um, but other than that, I really haven't done a whole lot as far as, um, uh, gaming much more than that. Um, the few games that I have played, like actually actively played has been Grand Theft Auto. And I mean, the graphics are great. The, uh, Dragon Quest game that I was playing before on the Dell G3, I played a little bit on here and it, it, and it's pretty good. Um, I, I do tend to play a lot more JRPG games. I still have it undervolted. And honestly, I haven't really touched this since that last video I made. I've lucked out and um, I get decent performance. Uh, GTA with max settings on everything maxed out, I'm getting about 80 frames per uh, per second. So I mean, I'm, I'm not really going to complain too much. Obviously, it is a laptop, so, you know, I'm not going to get desktop expectations. And I've, of course, there's been newer um, Alienware computers out there. So, it's not a bad computer, I must say. I know a lot of people have commented on some of the videos saying they can't find this configuration. And like I said in the videos before this, this is a custom configuration that Dell had offered, or... Alienware had offered, um, and after I had ordered mine, they literally had stopped with the mechanical keyboard, and, um, you couldn't get that as an option anymore, so, uh, I somehow lucked out. Honestly, I don't know if I would get another, um, I just, I don't know if I would get another mechanical keyboard, as nice as it is, it's just one of those things where it's like, it's more of a novelty thing, I feel like, to have. When I have a laptop, the last thing I want the laptop to be is loud, and of course, you're going to be loud on that. But overall, it does do really nice. Playing games on it, it feels pretty good. Um, I really don't have any complaints. Um... Eventually, you know, I'd like to get into the X17 series, but... I really don't see a point in me doing that when I still have this. I still have the freaking plastic on the stupid thing. I mean, let's get real. I don't really game competitively enough to need this. But I will say it is pretty cool. They got the 3080 Ti. I guess they are using the Ti now. Um, you know, just if you were to kind of max this out, I would just keep the hard drive the same. Um... Non-touch. Are they offering a touch in one of their screens? Honestly, I I think I would go with probably that screen. That's a hundred dollar difference. Um, that's if you add in the mechanical keyboard. I don't think I would do it again. Honestly, 
So yeah, thirty-seven hundred dollars roughly, and I actually that's the i7. So if we jump to the i9, you're you're looking at about four grand. Um, doesn't look like with that chipset. So with that chipset, you have to have that. Suppose you could get away with doing 32 gigs of RAM because you can always upgrade this, I believe. So roughly 3,700 bucks. Um, this one I think I paid like, I don't even remember what I paid for this, but yeah. So I definitely like this one. It looks cool. I think it runs a lot cooler. I don't know if people have to undervolt it. I literally have not no research whatsoever uh the most i've done is just kind of played around like this and just kind of looked at the different customizations but i thought i'd give an update of where i am it's been a long time i know that there's been tons of comments and i i just haven't really paid much attention to it um, again my videos are not edited i'm recording it on an iphone 13 pro max so i'm not claiming to be a youtuber i'm not trying to get famous off of any of these videos i'm just simply uploading this video as a simple guide of where I am and where I stand and my honest, uncut, unedited review of the Alienware. And I really can't give an honest opinion of it because I haven't really gamed on it since my last videos to say I can form an opinion. It's just kind of been here. But from what I have used of it, with the undervolting I have set up, I really can't complain. Like I said, Grand Theft Auto, I played it last night. It I mean, it got warm, but it didn't get ungodly hot. Um, Dragon Quest, it, it hasn't really gotten hot at all. Any emulation games, PlayStation 2, 3 emulation, none of that has caused any type of excessive heat. So, overall, I am still satisfied with it. And um, maybe eventually I'll upgrade. I don't know. My son wants a new computer, but the G3 is still fine for him. Maybe when he's a little bit older, I can give him this one and then order a new one. I don't know. But that's an update. Thank you for watching.